cute bat. It's just a head with wings. So good. Yeah, he does say he does say coop. What should I not? No, no, the audience is probably wondering that he just say coop. Yes. I have a unique way of saying things. I mean, my mom's an English teacher, so making up words is highly encouraged in my family. I said the word "flibberty sniggit" when I was buying. Oh, well, that's new. Whoa. Why do I feel like I can't get through this part? Oh, that's right. I can't. Because I can't. No, I don't have anything that'll that'll get me through that. Unless... No, the bat. No, it doesn't move up. Probably gets an ability to move up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said the word flibberty sniggit to a um, cashier on a food for New Year's. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was like, oh, that's an interesting word. And I was like, yeah, my mom came up with it. She's like, your mom sounds like an interesting lady. And I'm like, yeah, my mom's Dr. Seuss of my family. <laughs> she loved, my mom loved to read the Dr. Seuss books to us when we were kids. She just loved the rhyming. She loved the made up words. And she constantly uses those words like mm -hmm. in her daily vocabulary. <laughs> My mom's That's adorable. Cool. <laughs> Snake lady! Let's do it. No, there's something else in this other part of the stage that I haven't looked at yet. You'll find it. Or die trying. No, it's just supposed to be a giant uh, crocodile leg, or not a leg, a giant crocodile that's Arm supposed to beat up so I can get a, uh, a ticket to the race from it. It's down this way, though. This way. No, that's... Wait, isn't there a passage down there? Or am I wrong? Mermaid. No. No. I'm down there. Or... I don't think I can get down there yet. Let's see. Yeah, because I have nothing to break that. Or no means of transforming. I'm missing something. Maybe there's an ability you can get as the mermaid that'll smash through some of the rocks. Yep, but in the meantime. Yeah. It's okay. I've seen about all I can. I've seen about all I can see there. Yes, I would like to save Santa. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> Do you want some ice? No. <laughs> no, I really don't. You know what I'm quoting, right? Yes, I Okay, know. cool. Yeah, I just yes, I do know. <laughs> Look at those hips, Shantae. Ow. <laughs> just the, the brief burst of silence that followed what I just did. <laughs> You're not looking at me directly, but I can just hear your thoughts. You're just like... Rooftops of Main Street. Great, so I gotta go back to Main Street. Ow. Why didn't you fuckers just tell me that? Why you gotta make it all comparison? Back to Main Street. Eh, eh, eh. Take me on giant bird so we may fly away and mate. Oh my god. <laughs> That's uh. A little adult there, buddy. Uh, I am an adult. Just in case you didn't know. <gasps> what? Yeah. I thought Ready you were... to go. I thought you were a child. <laughs> that log had a child. <laughs> All these logs had children. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> so, it's talking about burning roofs. So I have to get to the 
second part. Yeah. Smack, smack, smack. 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 Fuck away from my hair. I don't know who you are. You want to be some kind of jerk? I just got here. What's going on? <laughs> uh, so there's an episode what? of The Simpsons where Ned Flanders just loses everything and um, Springfield decides to do him a kindness and like he loses his house. I think it's due to a hurricane. And uh, they, they try to rebuild his house, but they, do, they don't do a very good job of it. And uh, Ned's usually like this, like really... Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, he's like this really, um, like this kind-hearted, gentle soul, but he just snaps, and he just loses his yeah. shit, and, uh, he just, like, chastises every freaking person in the town that addresses him directly, and, uh, it starts with Bart, and, uh, he's, or no, it starts with, uh, Marge, and, uh, she's just like, oh, sorry, Ned, and he's just like, not, sorry, that's not good enough, and then, uh, <laughs> Uh, Lisa steps in, she's like, um, Mr. Flanders, really, we tried the best that we could. And he's like, oh, is that the sound of butting in I hear? It must be little Lisa Simpson, Springfield's answer to a question that was never asked! It's really cool. It's like, holy shit. And then, uh, what was it, um, Bart says something, he's like, don't have a cow, dude! Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> and then... Oh, uh, Millhouse, he's like, <laughs> Four eyes? You're wearing glasses, too. <laughs> yeah, you have predictable achievements. Don't make any sense. What were the other ones? Like, like the other we loved the most. The standouts. Uh, he, he, he's like, like Lenny shows up, and he's like, You! But I'm sure you're a jerk! He's like, I, I just got, got here. here, what's going on? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then he's like, Homer, you are the worst neighbor in the history of neighbors. And Homer's like, oh, I got off pretty oh, easy. easy. <laughs> was that it? Was that all there was? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was another one that we thought was funny, but I'm forgetting it. No, it was pretty much that one. It just made us lose our minds. Like, when we watched it, we were just like, holy shit, that's so savage. Mm. <laughs> that is a meaty head. At least in that one episode. There are a lot of episodes when he, like, like when Homer tries to become his friend, and uh, it actually works. Like, they become buddies for a while, and Bart's like, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. And then Lisa's just like, oh, it's just another one of those wacky adventures we have. So just sit back, say a snappy catchphrase, and all will be well. Ay, caramba! That's the spirit. <laughs> so they, they end up becoming such good chums that Homer wants to spend every waking minute of the oh, day with God. him. I didn't find what I was looking for. Oh man, I'm sorry. I don't know what. I don't know what it is I'm looking for. You need That's Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need Jesus. I don't think that has anything to do with it. No, it doesn't. So now I'm gonna have to run through this level again. Um. To try and find it. But then in that episode, Homer gets so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. It's weird. Um, Homer gets so annoying to Ned that he's actually... Ned's trying to actively avoid him. And he ends up hating him for a while. Yeah. And so there's that scene in the church when they all start praying quietly. And you know, Homer's nose is just whistling because he's breathing through it. And then, then Ned just is like, Oh, for God's sakes, will you breathe through your damn mouth? And everyone's like... Oh. <laughs> they all think Ned's like a lost cause at that point. They're just like, oh no, he's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ned. It's like, Ned Flanders, the fallen one. But meanwhile, Homer's just like being revered by the church and the community for donating a bunch of money. Just speed on this part. You got it. You got it. <laughs> we reference oh, a lot of stuff on the show. <laughs> yeah, we do. That's a good but... thing. It means we're cultured. Uncultured.
fucking swine. What are you looking at, you hockey puck? It's me. I'm looking at me. I'm a chain smoker, but I'm disguised as a monkey. Oh, oh, well, oh. that went bad. <laughs> Please get off. Please get off and don't come back. Sway those steps, girl. Mm. You're a blessing in a disguise. I feel blessed when I'm around. <laughs> I've had the time of my life. <laughs> and I owe it all to you. <coughs> <coughs> he just coughed to the tune. <coughs> Pounds of the Ganji elephant go away. Mm. He's a very fit elephant. We're all about animal activism and making sure that animals are protected and safe. We've even turned a lion into a vegetarian. This one eats tofu. And it just shows like a really small, like wimpy lion. And he's just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like really sick. <laughs> Such a great feud bit. Feud drama is another great show. Also made by Matt Granning. Yes. that side of the wall is the monkey. Yeah, but then... There's nothing up here. Yeah, I've already been up here. What about over that way? There's just like a secret down here. No, because this is where you get the monkey. Uh, this is where you get this. I meant over that way. There, no. Just go back. Maybe, well, oh, you're right. Fuck you, I'm going. Hmm. It's gonna be like a block I can break or something. It's the elephant. Probably. Well, I'm not sure at this point because I'm at the end. I didn't see anything. Maybe you already got it. Maybe that monkey pie was the one that you got. Why would the hint tell me that there was something on Main Street if I already got it? I do not know. So the hints are faulty in this game? I don't think that's the case. It might just be. It might just be something we're missing. I don't know. Oh, we gotta look very hard. Let's see. What could it be? What could it be? Let's 
very confusing. Let's see what the ID says. Sway those hips. Do it. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. Search for Hino's wall of the factory. What do they want? Where am I supposed to get this other one? How is her name spelled? Shantae? E-A or A? We heard there's some kind of reptile lurking in the dark caverns of Mermaid Falls. Two gator steaks served well done would be perfect. Make sure they're seared to perfection. Use a high flame to lock in all those shoots. Okay, I need a power up. Alright guys, well, we'll continue that on the next episode yeah. of Royal Gaming Battalion. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you like the video you watched, feel free to Hit that like button, smash the comment section, and hit your face against the subscribe button so that you can see more videos from us in the future. And that's that's also, how the subscribe uh, button works. And drop some criticism if you'd like. Yeah. What you didn't like, what you did like, because we like seeing all of it. Yeah. So We're very open. Yep. So Thank you, guys. Yeah. And we'll see you next time.